Good morning, good day, good afternoon, whenever you view this. I would like to explain the rationale behind raising the energy cost or cost of energy or electricity in Australia. It had nothing to do with tackling climate change. As we know, as anyone who is honest can say, that China is expanding the amount of coal-fired power stations it is building out to 2030 therefore with the amount the tiny amount of CO2 that Australia admits as only emits as 23 25 million people compared with one of their cities what we are as an irrelevance in the whole process of climate change if it were an actual scientifically proved fact, which is not, because models themselves are not science. I can say I've got a model aeroplane, but it's not going to fly like a real aeroplane. And that's all these models are, are models from a very limited, uh, if you like, uh, theory, or a very limited equation, because the equation for um, that would be created to uh, give an indication of what climate change is based in is extremely long and variable one but climate change itself or the earth is basically a solar lunar gravitational pump and I will not go any further into that because I want to explain the actual because it takes a the evidence is there for everyone to find out it takes a long time to correlate it so then you can become pretty certain about what you have got to say about this because you need to be pretty certain about your facts before you make such statements as I'm going to make. My background it doesn't matter but I've been studying evolution all my life and uh, that's what I can uh, specialize in if you like evolution theory or the theory of the genetic process and that involves also the economic process because economics is a net part of an evolutionary movement through time anyway based on various forces negative or positive the reason uh, Australia democracy is under attack is because two sides of the democratic coin if you like the left and right they're captured by the same alienated forces, the forces that are alienated from the rest of humanity due to the fact they're so wealthy and powerful they don't really have to worry about the rest of humanity just how they can use it and manipulate it. Now these people because of the prior uh, and Australia is a very vulnerable place where it's only small and because of prior uh, if you like negative or regressive economic factors placed into the system by inflating the cost of housing which alone if we understand Adam Smith you don't do that because artificially that is you can't stop natural inflation but artificially through negative gearing because that means all other costs cost of running hospitals nurses doctors all rise because you, everyone needs to pay more and more rent that's one factor the other factor then is of course is the energy factor now why what's this all about well they've raised the cost of energy so much now the cost of running all government or taxpayer funded faculties hospitals health care everything you can think of your own home has risen so much due to the fact they've increased the cost of energy for no particular reason, for not we, we are exporting our CO2 anyway to China, we, and it looks like we're reducing it. No, we're exporting it, so we're actually increasing it because the amount of debt we have must gain because of all this increased costs has to be paid somehow. You can't remove the fact you are within an energy cycle, and we are still 90% of all. The economies of the world are run through what you call the fossil fuel economy or, or the fossil fuel capital if you like. Now those people who are behind the fossil fuel who run or own a lot of the fossil fuels, they then have to like, diversify because of the advent 
of electric vehicles and various other factors due to the fact that eventual maybe running out of oil eventually in a long time from now those people who rely on fossil fuel for the almost totality of the income they then need to diversify the means of gaining the income so what they're doing uh, they're part of the push for climate change or being or us not really being involved in climate change because therefore we increase our debt we're increasing our debt to then finance those people who make all their money and will continue for a long time yet to make money out of the expanding fossil fuel economy and that's still expanding because as the whole world economy expands the gross amount of fossil fuel required also expands there is no replacement for it you can stick all the wind generators you like around but the mass of land they take with so much and it costs so much to do to generate the amount of power which is not actually possible physically possible means those sort of things especially in the case of Australia are totally unnecessary actually but they're only there to make it look like something's being done to the naive about climate change when actually they're doing nothing but waffling the wind around and making the cost of living and the cost of running the country far greater or to funnel money to those people who use the money they make from fossil fuels to then they use it to in the finance they then distribute that money into the financial organizations who then governments borrow, borrow the money from so we are increasing our pretending to reduce our fossil fuel use because we are increasing our debt to then finance those people who are actually increasing the use of fossil fuel which includes China China is increasing its use of fossil fuel regardless exponentially regardless whatever it does whether it puts much more wind, wind and, and solar in which it is it's also put a lot more nuclear energy in but it's also building hundreds and hundreds more of coal-fired power stations because China's got a massive economic plan out to 2030 we don't have any other than to reduce our ability to fund and afford basic infrastructure or create new industries or create if you like greater quality of life is by lowering retirement age improving age care improving health care exponentially we are limiting our ability to do that because we're pretending we're reducing our CO2 through this, if you like, this fraudulent methods that the ALP, Greens and, and, and Liberals are involved with. And regardless, they may argue and look different to each other. They're all behind the scenes are basically the same puppet master, the same financiers, one way or other are financing all of them and are manipulating all of them but they have to differentiate with themselves just to gain votes like different shops in the street differentiate what they sell in their shops to gain customers if all sell the same thing well you know they wouldn't gain many customers their customers wouldn't be enough but they have to differentiate what they sell but that's all you might agree with liberals or labor or whatever but be i want <laughs> To me, I want nothing to do with any of them because of what they are. They're certainly alienated from the Australian people by what they've done with energy alone. And uh, it's not doing the young people any favours. And certainly the ALP, now wanting to destroy gender identification, is the actual evidence, if you like, the evidence that nails them to the board that they're involved with genetic or it's called social engineering but it's actually changing the genotype of a whole society by weakening its individuality and the individuality of all humans is that's the inequality is that all humans have an individual right to strive to better the genetic outcome and the left are involved in weakening that so they can all be controlled under a collective umbrella 
political PC is called a program codex. That's what it is. It's a program. That's all it is. And if you understand evolutionary theory, then you'll understand what they've been doing. They're half, at least halfway through the genetically engineering of society through the control of media and all that propagating what is mostly bullshit, to put it plainly. And then within three more generations from now, the people who are victims, the people who come under politically correct umbrella, the people who vote for the left, a lot of them are victims of this programming. So, but within three generations from now, they're going to be tar all, like, all the same, bland. Forget diversity. Forget diversity because the left, this want to do get rid of gender, means they don't even want male and female to be different to each other or identi identified as different. So that's the very basis of all human diversity. How we characterise as males or females. I mean, um, what sort of man fancies a woman who's exactly like himself? I mean, <coughs> it doesn't work. Not for long, you know, it's a bit queer. But that's, I thought I would put this on um, Facebook and YouTube. And those who tweet into my uh, Twitter account, well, you can all make up your own mind. I am, I'm not interested in anyone to believe anything. It's like saying, oh, you know, stop smoking. If you're a doctor, it'll do better for your health. And you, you don't really, you know, it's not your business what you do. What people believe is their entirely their own business. And they should never believe a politician, never believe media, never believe anyone who's paid to talk about anything. Because they will, those people have been captured with this, within this program. Anyway, I just thought I'd fill you in on what actually going on with the inflation of debt is therefore we're pretending to reduce our emissions to funnel money into those people who are involved in in uh, increasing them through oil and other means because you can't get out of the fossil fuel economy that's what the world the modern world is based in thank you